Hey everybody, Tyson Moore here. I'm going to show you how I took this space underneath my miter saw and used it to store all of my saw blades. First, I obviously measured the space where my router used to be and used some scrap plywood on my table saw to rip it down to the necessary height. Then I measured the cross sections and took it over to my miter saw. Now this saw blade is an 80 tooth blade that basically cuts through anything like butter. You can see that on this plywood. Next, I took the pieces into the space to make sure that they would fit and then measured the distance between them to figure out how wide my shelves needed to be. Now over at the table saw, I had to swap out my blade and my brake cartridge on the saw stop for one that would accept a dado stack. Now here I'm installing a Monotools Prestige Superfine Dado Set and only needed two blades because I needed the dados to be a quarter inch wide so that my quarter inch plywood would slide through them. And after getting the blade set up on my saw, I simply took the sides of my shelf, marked them evenly, and began to cut the dados. Now it is important to note that after I would cut one piece, I'd get the other side of the shelf and follow it immediately after it so that all of the dados matched perfectly. After that, I took the sides over to the miter saw and attached them to the post using a Monotools 55227 countersink bit. It definitely makes drilling countersinks that easy. Next, it was time for cutting the thin plywood. This plywood, as I mentioned earlier, was one quarter inch thick and it was going to slide into the slots like you see here. Now at the miter saw, I am cross cutting each of the sections down to be the exact length that I need to make each shelf. And as you can tell, they'll slide in just like this. Now after this, I headed over to the CNC and designed a simple circle that would be the size of my saw blade. I set the depth to be a little bit more than the width of the blade and left the center so that the blade would have somewhere to rest, like this. As you can tell, it's flush, the teeth are protected, and hopefully it'll be less likely to go anywhere if I'm pulling it out quickly. Now once I knew that this worked, all I needed to do was do the exact same thing with all the other shelves. It was at this point though that I realized after I did them all that I forgot to cut a little hole for my finger so that I could easily remove the blade. Here I'm using a Timberline carbide tip Forstner bit also from Tools Today. I guess I could have saved a step and done this at the CNC, but using a drill press was super easy. And now with the hole in the bottom, I'll be able to poke the blade through and easily remove it. This is the blade that I've used for cutting metal and aluminum. This is a blade I've used for cutting plastic and acrylic. This is a ripping blade that I use for primarily ripping hardwoods. And this is my combination blade, which is used for plywood and lots of other things. And I also have one more spot for that 80 tooth blade that's on my miter saw. Now all in all, I'm super excited with how this scrap wood project turned out. Again, I'm Tyson Moore from Tyson Moore Builds. Thanks so much for watching.